Welcome back to the Positive Side Podcast. This one, this what I'm going to do this time is, uh, since I've done these a few times, it's been like a moment of silence of what's going on. I thought I'd kind of tell you a little bit about what I do when I get this going. Again, just very briefly, I do all my uh, podcasts in the GarageBand. So I'm here in GarageBand. I don't, I'm opening up a new one, and what I do is I always set it up with my my intro music, which uh, again isn't is not very good, but it's something I created in GarageBand. So I've just been kind of rolling with it. Um, I would show you also, I had a buddy of mine said, hey, look at the camera, but the, the problem with the camera where I am in my quote-unquote studio is in my son's room, and the son's room is just trash behind me, so I can't really show you. I mean, I could, but it doesn't look very pretty. The pictures in the background, at least, you know, I'm in a 10-year-old, 10-year-old room, so uh, again, I got the intro music going on right now. I'm going to double-click it so I can kind of edit that down a little bit. I hit play in my ear. It's playing now, and then I come down here. I'm going to get up here and stop as long as I want it. Let's go to right about here. So then I come back down to this bottom part of GarageBand, and I can edit this to the distance that I want. I'm going to start it back over from the beginning. I'm going to start a new window, or a new track, I think they call them. And um, that's about it. So if you're wondering what goes on when I first start this, that's what happens. Well, that's what happens. We're going to get it going again, um, so this time there'll be that moment of silence, and I'm going to start the podcast. Welcome to the Positive Side Podcast. This is your host, Jeremy Todd. Man, I'm talking fast, but I'm telling you what, I'm a little jacked up. Just got back from the gym. Good workout, a little bit of running, and man, you know, running's tough. Uh, you know, I got a couple goals this year. I'm going to run a couple 5Ks, so I ran a mile and a half today after my workout. So that's always a little bit tougher, but that's part of CrossFit. CrossFit, you know, you do an interval training. And um, so I did some overhead squats, did a little other things, and blah, blah, blah. But what I wanted to tell today, and you know, I, I, I get a lot of my best ideas when I am running, so I don't mind running. It wears me out. Uh, short legs isn't the best thing for running. So uh, I have a lot. I have a lot of time on my hands when I'm running. Um, but what I thought about today, and I thought about this kind of last night and yesterday, but uh, really hit home today was I wanted to talk to you about what your story is. What is your story? So if someone said came up to you in the street and said, "Hey, how you doing? Um, my name's Jeremy. What's your name? My name's Phil. Phil, what's your story?" And then I, I'm wondering what you would actually how that what your response would be. So think about that for a second as I go on with, I thought about what my story would be. And my story starts back in the way, way back in the day. You know, grew up, didn't have any money at all, had a lot of, you know, but you know, I never wanted anything. I was fortunate, lived with my mom most of the time, my dad on the weekends, and um, I never wanted anything. I mean, I, I never needed anything. I always had everything I needed, whether it be a new pair of shoes. I know they some way, somehow scrounged together enough money to always get what I wanted, but I was by, by far not wealthy. We lived in a, a part of the Fort Wayne, Indiana, which uh, is known as the district, the 08, shout out to the 08, but, uh, you know, so we wouldn't have a ton of money, but uh, I met a lot of my best friends growing up there, and then came here, got, fast forward a little bit, went through high school, was a bad student, school was not for me, flunked out of college in two years, did more smoking weed than I did studying, got out of that, went through that phase of my life, that was terrible, but I wasn't a student. Got into the banking business, that wasn't for me. Got into the car business, and that was kind of for me. I really enjoyed the car business. But what happened, after being in the business for as long as I was, I just got tired. And when I, I needed the reset button. I needed to hit that reset button after 10 years in the business, working a lot of hours. You know, I mean, I went through the trenches, ups and downs, left to rights. Uh, I've seen it all in the car business in the 10 years. Things are always changing, obviously. But I needed to hit the reset button, and, and I did that this past year when we packed up our family, moved to North Carolina, started over. And what that did was that gave me a time to appreciate what I've got, where, I, where I've come from, where I've been, what I've done, my successes, my failures. But it gave me a really great chance to reevaluate my life and where I want to go towards the future. Now, I'm, I've said in my po- couple podcasts, I'm going to get back in the business because w- what I needed – I really needed a break from the car business because it's, you know, I, I take that back. It's not really even the car business. I need a break from life. Car business was part of that because, you know, I had three kids. We're homeschooling. We're going, th- we're, uh, I'm working a lot of hours. I'm not the happiest at the pos- position I was doing. I was a finance manager making well in the six figures. I mean, I made well in the six figures. So I, 
so the money wasn't the problem, the family wasn't the problem. It was just, I was just burnt. I was toasted. I needed to start over. When was the last time that you actually started over? You know, I don't want to jump off the subject of my story, but when was the last time you did that? It's important to do that every once in a while. I needed it bad. And since I have started over, what it's done is it's reinvigorated me. It's refreshed me. I feel better. I feel, I mean, like I said, I can get back in the car business now, and, and, and I know what the car business is about, and I've got a better grounding and better, better stability of where I am and what I enjoy to do. You know, I like enjoying time with my family. I love doing the podcast. I love inspiring people. And this is what's really helped me to identify who I am and what I enjoy to do. That's my story. So right now, I'm at ground zero. I feel like a million bucks. I don't have a stress care in the world. I'm going to get a job to help to kind of invigorate this business. I'm going to put some more money into this. But I'm also going to get back into helping people in the car business. I mean, some of the car business salespeople are... Those guys, I mean, it's a tough, tough job. I mean, I know a stereotypical car car salesman, used car salesman, doesn't have the best best rap, but that, you know, that's changed. In the last five, ten years, that, or really, yeah, probably ten years, that's completely changed. The, the people that are in the business, and now I'm not saying everyone in the business, there are, you're still going to have your prototypical that give the stereotypical, you know, description of car guy, but... That's not a majority of people, and that's why I want to give back in the business, to give back what I've learned and how I've reset my life and re, uh, re-evaluated my values, my core values, what I want to do, what, where, I, where my career is going, what I want to do 5, 10, 15 years from now, what do I enjoy? You know, when, when you're going through life and, and things are going so fast, you know, you're, it's just day after day after day after day, and you get stuck in that, it's not, you know, I don't want to use the old rut, but that's really what it is, but... You know, people thought I was nuts. People were like, well, Jeremy, you're quitting a great job at a great dealership. You know, my the, the one of the, the managers I worked for, she was one of the best you could ever possibly work for. And I was making a, a, a great income and a great living. And I just gave it all up. People were like, well, why would you do that? What is wrong with you? I, I had so many questions. But, you know, I'm, I'm happier now than I've ever been. Sure, I miss some family and friends, and I miss where I was. and But you know what? I love where I am now. I love where my life is going. I love part of the country. It's warmer. I mean, I, you know, starting over like that, it gives you a new perspective on what you actually truly enjoy and getting out of that rat race, even if it's for a little bit, even if you're kicking around for, you know, sometimes people go on vacations for a week. I, I don't think a week's long enough. I don't think it's long enough. I think if you're lucky enough to get two weeks, maybe then you're pushing it. But boy, oh boy, you know, it's it's been... A good, you know, I was at that little job in the meantime, but, you know, since I've actually had a position that I was really into, it's been six months uh, that I haven't really been back to the grind. And, um, man, I tell you what, I, I'm so glad I did it. I, I am so glad. And that's really my story, that I've had a long, long life of working hard, working my butt off, raising a family. And, man, it's time to st- stop, smell the roses, appreciate where I am. And continue to go forward and helping people, whether it be the car business, whether it be construction, if that's your position, whether it be counseling, whatever, you're a painter, whatever, teacher, it doesn't matter. It's important to hit that reset button, appreciate what you got, and let's see where this life's going to go. It's only going to get better. That's my story. Your story may be similar, may be completely different. But I want you to take this time to to think about what your story is. If someone came up to you on the street and said, David, what is your story? I say David because he's a buddy of mine in Indianapolis. It's an avid listener. I know you're listening now, my friend, but he sent me out a lot of different uh, inspirational uh, emails and quotes and stuff like that. But, you know, whatever. It, what is your story? What's your story going for? What chapter? I mean, it, you know, if your life's a whole big book, you know, there's a lot more left in this book for me to go. And I'm excited about the second half. I, not really second half. You know, I'm really excited for the, the the next part of my life, the next journey of my life, and where it's going to take me and where it's going to be. Life is only so short. You see people passing away at a young age. Well, I don't want to be that person. I want to make sure that every day I take advantage of. So that is my story. I'm in it to win it. I'm, one of the, I'm on the positive side. I look at, you know, glasses always half full. I want to make the best of this life, and I hope you do too. So do me a favor. Shoot me an email. Tell me what your story is. 
think about it for a couple of days. Shoot it to me at Jeremy at JeremyTodd.com. Shoot me that email. Tell me what your story is. Where do you see your life? What are you going to do in the next 5, 10 years? What are you doing now? Are you in this position? Are you, do you feel stuck? Like me on Facebook. I've got some great motivational videos on there. I'm going to start putting some goofy videos on it. Check it out on YouTube, The Positive Side. Same thing on, you, on Facebook. It's called The Positive Side. Check that out. Give it a like. Give me a five-star rating. Big help. You can hop on iTunes. Give me a five-star rating. If you can give me a five-star rating, shoot me an email. Say, hey, Jeremy, I just sent it over to you. I'll give you a free 15-minute power call. I'll pump you up. We'll get you going for the day. Just to let me know you did it. That would make a huge difference. iTunes seems to like those five-star ratings. Uh, do that for me. But I'm, more importantly, I want to know your story. I want to know what you're going through. I want to know where, where you see yourself. Are you, are you stuck? Are you struggling? Do you need to hit the reset button? Are you in the middle of hitting the reset button? Did you just hit the reset button? Whatever the case is. Tell me your story. Tell me your life. Shoot me an email. Um, Jeremy, JeremyTodd.com. Check it out on Facebook. Check out the website, JeremyTodd.com. Tell your friends. Tell, tell your families. Tell the people you like. Tell the people you don't like. Check it out. I appreciate you tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the episode. This is the positive side. Hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> That's the positive side.